Thank you for staying with us. We've been continuing to look at just all of the pictures and video coming from the coast of the Carolinas and it's just really picking up there now and it's we're just looking at sunny hot over here. I know we talked before the break. I mean, we're only about 100 miles away yeah. from being in kind of the outer bands of this, but for us our weather is just hot and breezy for today. A much different story. It is rainy and breezy right now. This is Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It looks like that pier has probably seen better days and the waves crashing well up the beach and for parts of the Carolina coastline storm surge could be on the order of four to seven feet and that could be what we're seeing here around the Myrtle Beach area and Myrtle Beach up towards Wilmington. They've also been dealing with these tropical spin up tornadoes through this morning. So it's a category two storm. We had a weird little thing where it went maybe up to category three with the noon advisory. Then they have adjusted the numbers back down to category two. Either way, winds are at 110 miles per hour right now. It's moving north northeast at eight, so it's just about 30 miles off the coast of Charleston. That's to kind of the middle of the eye, um, but this is going to track right along the Carolina coast over the next 24 hours. But with the center right offshore, you can see these rainfall totals around the Charleston area. Very impressive. Some areas are over a half foot of rain right now, and then you get off the coast. Look at that radar estimates upwards of nine inches there. And then I mentioned the spin up tornadoes. We've actually seen some pretty amazing video of these spin up tornadoes around the Wilmington area, um, and these are continuing to take place just north of Wilmington right now. It's just these tropical feeder bands, the water spouts coming off the ocean. Then once they go over land, they obviously can become tornadoes. So this will continue to track right along the Carolina coastline. There's a chance that it maybe pushes on shore for a bit and makes an official landfall, but it's just going to track right along the coast and then likely grazing the outer banks by tomorrow morning. Still as a category two hurricane with winds of 100 miles per hour. And with that, obviously the wind gust for the coastline can be very impressive. Hurricane warnings are posted through the outer banks. So we have rain and wind gusts on the map and the good news for the Georgia coastline is that Already by this afternoon, the weather is improving, and I think by this evening, the rain will be moving out and the wind will really be tapering down. For central Georgia today, a wind gust 20, 25 miles per hour is possible, especially east of Macon, but again, it's just hot and breezy today, not a big deal. And then as you can see, heading into tomorrow morning, that is setting its sights on um, North Carolina, and this will likely track right over or kind of graze the outer banks by around 7 or 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Here in central Georgia, obviously we're removed from that. It's another hot day for Friday. Surprise as we head into the afternoon on Friday. Thankfully, this will start to move offshore and then it will move out to the open Atlantic, maybe kind of grazing parts of New England with some rain just on the far left hand side of that. Look at these wind gusts as we head into future view. This is 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Moorhead City is around 70 and I think Hatteras is going to show similar numbers as the eye will likely be very close to that area. And again, those wind gusts could be hurricane force, so something over 70 or 80 miles per hour can't be ruled out as that tracks overhead. For us here in central Georgia, you can see the circulation moving away from us, and we will have just hot weather. So this afternoon, it'll be mid-upper 90s, and I think we just continue to trend warmer heading into the day um, on Saturday and Sunday. I think will be our hottest day. Low 70s to start the day on Friday for the afternoon, mid to upper 90s again. So for high school football tailgaters, not worried about rain, um, but it's going to be very hot and the evening will be dry as well. Low to mid 70s Saturday and then for the afternoon, future view is showing an even 100. I'll go about 98 for the high on the seven day for now, but again, that could be as high as 100, then 99 on Sunday. Even into next week, man, that's just a hot pattern we're stuck in. We'll go 98 on Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday, we're around at 96. Just small, isolated shower and storm chances the first half of next week, but still the pattern largely hot and mainly dry. Here's Howard.